Pisces. It's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. Here to do a little weekly reading for you, taking a look at feelings, what these feelings are about, where they're coming from. All right, so the blue deck is going to be for you. The gold deck is going to be for whoever it is that you're thinking about, whoever you have an interest in, connection, relationship, marriage, whatever the case may be. All right, and then I'm using a couple of oracle decks here to help me out today. All righty. One more. Of course, in a general reading, the characters can be swapped, so keep that in mind. All right. All right, so we're going to start right here. What do we have here? Chivalry. All right, so is that something that you expect in a connection, or is that something that you know might be important to... The other person or is that something that's important to you what do we have around chivalry curious curiosity around chivalry chivalry is beautiful and it's so we don't see it as much anymore let's see what this is about for you all right so we've got three of wands in the reverse so i feel like this is this is an expectation. You have high expectations around, around somebody showing a level of chivalry towards you. I feel like you're running out of patience with somebody as far as how they're potentially treating you. All right, let's see what this is about for this person. All right, so we've got two of wands. All right, so I feel like this person, I feel like if you have talked to this person about maybe how they treat you, I feel like this person has heard you, okay? They have processed it, and they're. I feel like they have made a decision about how they're going to treat you going forward. So let's see what that's about. Nine of Cups. So I feel like this person wants to... Be your wish fulfilled. Be what you want emotionally. I do feel like this person has heard you. So let's see why the Nine of Cups. All right. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. So that's Virgo energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, knights are about movement. So I feel like this person is going to take it very slowly Taking it slowly, I feel like, represents chivalry, right? Taking it slowly in the physical world, wanting to get it right, wanting to do it right this time. All right, so let's see. Your patience is running out, and then we have Knight of Swords in the reverse. That's Aquarius energy. Um, I feel like you are also going to be paying close attention to how you are speaking, paying attention to the details of what it is that you say because you know how important it is to speak the truth and say what it is that you that you really think and feel. That is really important. Why are we getting the Knight of Swords in the reverse? And then look at that. We've got Two of Cups in the reverse. So <clears throat> that tells me that there is definitely a connection here, um, but you have some resistance towards this connection right now. And I feel like it's stemming around how this person might have treated you in the past or how they've been treating you recently. You have shown some resistance to this particular connection. And I feel like you've voiced it. Okay, you've been careful about how you've, you've said things to this person so they actually hear it. And I, I feel like this person is taking that that information and trying to apply it in a very measured type of way. So let's see what else we have here. All right, manifestation. What are we manifesting? Nervous energy. All right, so both of you might be 
very nervous. You're manifesting a, kind of a fearful, nervous energy. Um, you might be worried about something when it comes to this person. I feel like this person is worried about how you are going to receive them. I do feel like for a lot of you, this would be kind of a, a second chance or a second opportunity with this person. Um, this person trying to level up and be better. Okay. Um, let's see what this energy is about for you. Communication. Nervous to talk to this person. What is this energy about for this person? And we've got High Priestess. Okay. So I feel like this person is very nervous about what they what they aren't saying to you. Okay, so maybe there's something that needs to be said, something that needs to be addressed <clears throat> that this person is very nervous about. The high priestess um, is very quiet energy, so this person may not be fully engaging you right now because I feel like they're preparing for something, you know, and you are nervous to have, I feel like, the next conversation uh, with this person. But let's see what this high priestess is about. <clears throat> All right, so we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. So you might be dealing with a Taurus. You might be nervous to talk to a Taurus. Um, yeah, I feel like this person, what they have kept behind the veil, so to speak, is where their heart is committed. All right, so I feel like <clears throat> they've really kept that they've really kept that from you um they're manifesting nervous energies because they've they've kept what their heart really wants from you so let's see why the hierophant and we have the 10 of swords okay so the reason this person has kept these feelings to themselves is because 10 of swords they have been hurt did you hurt them? I, I feel like maybe you're aware of that or maybe you're not. Maybe you're not aware that you might have hurt them. All right, so we've got Eight of Wands for you. What's that about? We've got Queen of Swords in the reverse, Libra energy. All right, so um, that tells me that's the energy of a heart that is opening. So you might be preparing, again, preparing to have a conversation, preparing to open your heart, which is making you nervous. Why do we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse? We have Six of Wands because you still believe, you believe that there, there is an opportunity to have success here, okay, to, <clears throat> to have some type of victory and love. You still have faith indicated by that wreath. On, on the wand that he's carrying there, you still believe, I mean, there's, you know, this card feels to me very chivalrous, like somebody riding in on their white horse and doing the right thing. So I feel like you, you definitely have a level of expectation around a conversation that you want to see some some change, but you have faith. I feel like you still have faith in this person. So what else do we have here? <clears throat> Reparenting yourself. All right. So what is that about? All right. It's about going deep emotionally, reparenting yourself. So there might've been something, you know, and your parents don't do anything um, intentionally to hurt their kids, right? But there might have been, they might have had a way, they might have had a certain discipline, um, you know, they might have angered quickly. Um, both of you probably struggled with some type of situation um, with a parent and something about this connection is forcing both of you to address that. So I'm almost feeling like somebody here might have been very short-tempered um, at one point, um, somebody might have been very hurtful with their words. All right, so let's see what this is about here for you. All right, so we've got Nine of Wands, 
of, you're afraid to, to go deep and repair whatever it is that has hurt you. Um, you know, and it may feel like it has a lot to do with this person. This person is definitely hurting too, but it, it goes, I feel like it goes deeper than that. What is this nine of wands about for you? Six of pentacles. All right. So I feel like when it came to, um, parenting, you know, you might've had, you might've had a lot of brothers and sisters you might have felt um, ignored. You might have felt like somebody was getting always getting more attention than you. So you might strive to get a certain... That's more than likely why that chivalry came out. Chival chivalry is really paying very close attention and it's courting. You know, it's, it's romancing. It's paying very close attention to... The details of another person and so I feel like there was some lack of that in your childhood why do we have the six of Pentacles here all right so we've got the seven of swords um, yeah this is about this is about coming back and facing something coming back and facing something and being very kind to yourself and allowing yourself to, to go deep, to have a conversation with somebody, to be somewhat vulnerable. You might not have been allowed to be vulnerable in your younger years around your parents. You might not have been able to say exactly what it was that, <clears throat> that you were feeling. What is this about for this person? And again, something to do with childhood. All right, Queen of Pentacles heart of Capricorn, authenticity. This person didn't necessarily feel like they could be their authentic self. So what do you do when you feel like you can't be authentic? You put on a mask, you try to be somebody else. When you try to be somebody else um, and you aren't getting the response that you want or you're not being successful in a relationship or connection, that really goes awry quickly. Um, so I feel like it might have inspired a temper in this person because not only are they not allowing themselves to be appreciated for truly who they are, they're not even getting appreciation for who they're trying to be. How frustrating is that? All right, so let's see. What's this Queen of Pentacles about? Yeah, Ten of Cups in the reverse. Um, not being authentic has been completely emotionally unfulfilling for this person and rightfully so right I mean that absolutely makes sense why do we have the ten of cups in the reverse all right so eight of pentacles so I feel like this is tied to um, this person's accomplishments in life as well um, where they are making progress maybe that has that wasn't acknowledged as a child and maybe what this person might need a little more from you is acknowledgement of their progress, not of their perfection. Because I feel like with that Virgo energy that we had with Knight of Pentacles, this person tries to get things right. And that's why this person might be nervous and might be um, tentative and, you know, making sure that they say something the way it needs to be said in an authentic way, in an authentic fashion. All right, so that is the little reading that I have for you this week. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, certainly reach out. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.